If I was to compare the 2006 vintage to another vintage, I, there's no other vintage I can compare it to. I think it's one of the best vintages we're producing. It really is the statement of not only where Jordan has come from all these years, but where we're going. So the fundamental difference I would say is about our 2006 are, are, are two things. One is that the direction that John Jordan wants to take with the fruit sourcing, that the site is far more important than the husbandry. And that has added a tremendous more dimension to the fruit uh, character that we're looking for in our wines. Uh, secondly, I think, which is really exciting too, which is, um, is a testament to the Jordans period. And that is that their commitment to making the best wine they can. When John Jordan came on in 2005, and I just remember when he walked in my office and he says, you know, I want to continue and my father's success here at the winery, but also I want to continue raising the quality. And that, uh, that I mean, had an enormous appeal to me. If you compare the 2006 compared to the 2005, I think style-wise you're going to see a lot of similarities. But the biggest difference you're going to see is just a lot more fruit. You're going to see more blackberry, more cassis characteristics, and this is definitely purely defined by our, our uh, added fruit sourcing. So the blend of the 2006 Cabernet is 75% Cabernet, 20% Merlot, and 5% Petit Merlot. Now, originally we started with the, the concept we'd about 10% Merlot, but we found over the years that Again, to further define the Jordan style between elegance, a real nice balance to it, the Merlot, and particularly the Petit Verdot, now that we've added that, has just been a lot of fun to work with. In terms of the 2006 versus the 2005, cooperage-wise, they're fairly, fairly similar. We're about two-thirds French oak to about a one-third American oak. We used to replace the cooperage every four years, which meant 25% was new oak, and now we're close to 35% new oak. We found over the years that one, wine is not a linear, uh, winemaking is not linear. Aging the wine in the bottle, we found, even a couple months extra aging is exponential. Not just linear, not just adding a little bit of extra. You know, we aged the wine two years, but the difference between 22 months or 20 months versus 24 months is monumental. To be able to make the wines for the Jordan family has been so much fun, but to continue to have their excitement and their curiosity and continuing the one that raised the bar for quality, uh, this is what's I think the best part about working here.